Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today I am going to be making with you some simple flower pots. And this is perfect for seven year olds and eight year olds. So beginning clay students. We're going to be using some slabs, and you can see, and we're decorating them with some cool texture. Okay? So the first thing you want to do is you want to get your circle slab. And I always have these pre cut for my students. And at the end of the video, um, if you're interested in how I pre-cut this and prepare my lessons, you can go to the end of my video and see how I prepare these. Um, but what you're going to need is one circle slab and one long skinny slab here. Now we're going to add texture to the long skinny slab. So I'm going to place my circle to the side and I'm going to use a paper towel. Um, so I'm, I'm going to need a paper towel to put my slab on. And that's so that the slab doesn't stick to the desk. And in my class today, we're gonna add texture with these rollers here. So I have a bucket of rollers on my counter. So you're gonna go ahead and get a bucket of rollers once you have all your materials. And you're gonna roll on top of this clay slab here. So I'm gonna place my roller at the end and I'm gonna bring it to the very top now. When I use the roller, I have the handle in one hand and I'm pressing hard and the handle's almost, see how it's almost straight up? I'm pressing hard and it's gonna slowly move and I'm going right to the other end. You wanna make sure that it leaves an impression in the clay. It doesn't have to leave a really dark or heavy impression, but as long as it leaves some kind of impression. So as you're rolling, check it out. If it's not leaving enough, then give it a little bit more pressure. And so now I have a clay slab that has some really neat impression in it. Now what I go ahead and do, and this is very new soft clay, so we're not gonna need to add slip. Normally you would add some slip, you would score this, add some slip, which is like liquid clay, and then attach it. But for this method, it's just gonna be a simple wrap method, so we're not using that technique. Um, so now what I do is I place my clay around the circle and I wanna bring the two ends together so they overlap. So look on the inside. I want them to overlap. See what they're doing here? They're just overlapping a little bit. It's overlapping about a pinky finger. And now I'm gonna give a light pinch. Now I'm not gonna pinch real much, okay? This is going to be the seam of the cup. I don't want to distort from this thickness. I want to always keep the wall very thick. Now, if you take your hand and support this, let's get it back to where it should be, okay? I want to put my fingers on the inside, and now I'm just going to take my fingers and blend in the side a little bit here, just gently, but I'm supporting it from the inside. So I'm moving this clay down, and now I'm just gonna move this seam back. And you can see how it's really wet, so it just blends real nice. If you have harder clay, then you're gonna have to add the slip, but we're good for my class today. Now, on the inside, here I can see my seam again. You wanna do the same thing. So just taking your finger, and it's basically just pushing your finger. If you think of it as mashed potatoes, and you're just smoothing out a mashed potato. There. And on this edge here, smooth this out too. Just smooth it out with your finger. And I'm gonna do the bottom here. So the inside seams you wanna smooth. That way this won't come apart. Now I wanna get it back into a, a tube here. So I want it circular. Now I'm gonna place it on the circle and you wanna center it on the circle. You wanna to look to see you have equal distance around your edges here. If not, just kind of move it so that you do have equal. And like I said, we're gonna be putting flowers in this. So the inside can be a little bit doesn't have to be super perfect, exactly perfect. There, now I'm gonna give it a little tap and I wanna show you how it's, see how you have almost a finger width 
around your edges. You want it to be smaller than the circle. Now what I'm gonna do is tip it upside down and I'm gonna tap with two fingers, you can do one or two, tap really hard around your edges. And as I'm tapping around my edges, the clay is folding over the sides here, okay? But first I wanna tap straight down and you can actually hear, let's see. Hear that noise? Hear it? Okay. So you're tapping it, and that's what it's doing. It's forcing the clay to come up. Clay is made with little tiny molecules of silica, which is like a sand and alumina. And you wanna smack, and water, H2O, so you're forcing the molecules to blend together. You're forcing the clays to bond together to become one piece. And that's real important because the bottom will just come right off the top. That's why we would normally score and slip this. But like I said, this clay is so wet. Now I have my thumb inside, or you can put your fingers inside, and I can lightly press this area. So the bottom has wrapped up and around my sides, okay? Now for my class, let's see, if you tap real hard, tap it on the bottom, you're gonna get a nice flat bottom now. Smooth it out so that it's a nice circular shape. Okay, now you can take the back of a pencil, or you can use a tool, back of a pencil works great, and you can even impress in a design right here. Now, not really deep. Just press it and carefully go around, and this will bond the bottom to the sides. And it also gives a little decorative design. So just with a simple pencil, you can finish this off. Now, my class, what they do is they then bring it up to me. Make sure you're all cleaned up. Make sure your paper towels are put away. Then you're gonna bring it to me and you're gonna tell me your first name and you're gonna tell me the table number you sit at. And I put that on the bottom of your pot. And then since this is for flowers, I will poke some holes in the bottom for drainage, okay? And that's how we make our simple slab pots. And let me show you, before I turn off my video here, I'll show you some student ones that were just made today. And this is second grade. Now these kids did not do the texture at the bottom, we just blended it right in. You can see how this one is a little bit squishy here. You don't wanna have it real squishy on the sides. You wanna make sure your sides, let me show you on this student example here. You wanna make sure your sides are as thick around. You don't want to get it real thin here. Okay? You want to make sure it's the same thickness all the way down on your sides. You can see here this has not been distorted. And let me show you on the one again how it got skinnier. So you don't want this to happen. See how it's a little bit thinner here? Right there. This makes a weaker wall. Look how thick the slab is. And this one's a little bit thinner. So you don't want it to be a little bit thinner. Now I'm gonna show you how I cut the slabs uh, out for teachers who want to know how I prepare this for the students. Let me know in the comments how yours came out. This is how I um, cut a block of clay into the strips for the slab, slab pots. I take and I just run my needle tool down the center here and I've trimmed the large block of clay um, into six by nine and I use one of these uh, clay cutters here and I adjusted it. Now I'm adjusting it down to, this is a little over a quarter of an inch here for the slab. Um, and what I do is I go ahead then once it's cut, slice down into three by nine strips, then I slice with this cutter. And I kind of rest my knee against the back of this so that when I'm pulling, it doesn't slide off the table. So I rest my knee here and I'm gonna pull hard, supporting it. So 
So my knee is down on this end here, right here. And I'm pushing right through. And this is how I cut slabs fast for the kids, right off the block. And then I have two strips that are pretty good, good to go for the kids. But I wanted to run that by just to show you how I prepare this. And I do this before time, before class, and then I slide, put it into, let me show you over here, just plastic bags on my, on my table here. So the slab is ready to go, and then I do the circles. I prepare the circles, and you can see how they're all on the bag ready to go. I prepare the circles on a slab roller. So I slice off some of this block of clay, and then I use this tin here, it's a circle uh, for, for circle cutting, and I just run it through my slab roller, the block of clay, and then I just cut out the circles as I need them. So that's how I prepare my clay for the pot.